Hello, uh, this video explains the um, guide, winning guide and tips for Cups in 2018. Uh, free guides and tips uh, and also free personal support for two rounds, round one and round two. Um, this video follow video number one, number two. This is the third video. And um, I give you the overview of all the decisions so we can uh, continue with uh, on the round three to the end of the game with the winning strategy. If you follow the guide from video one and video two, now we get very good. Uh, position in the game so we just keep going moving ahead uh, with this tip you can lead the game for own round from uh, 3 to 8 right now so um, if you need the excel file you can uh, detail guide you can download from here in the link you can um, log in the, the the website and download right and also uh, you can um, um, get the excel file in this link in the we read it right and then you can download the excel file here and uh, for overview you have um, uh, 10 key decisions for ind we change the mtbf this we did in round one right we change that uh, right from round one so we use a career report uh, to check customer preference buying criteria you download the excel file here and replace only one round in here in this round and then you can get the uh, Excel file ready for on the eight rounds, right? Remember that is very important. Uh, edit the Excel file only one round to match the game. Get the number from uh, industry condition report round one and put that into the Excel file. All numbers uh, will be automatically calculated and the Excel file you can download free here. And uh, do not update the low end product. Uh, it's optimal already and oh, uh, low end needs seven years to sell best. We update only one time in round 3 and the second time in round 7. And also in the Excel file, you can keep track of the price. For each round, we reduce the price by uh, 50 cents. This is uh, the best price, but uh, my suggestion, you can check. Uh, round 1 is okay, but round 2, you can check the career report to find the price of the most strong competitors, strong competitors, and reduce the price by 50 cents lower so that uh, our product is more competitive. For the marketing, number 2, the marketing, the price. For traditional, try to set as close as competitor as possible, right? Lower than 50 cents, for example, 29.50 in round one. And for low end product, we need to set as low as possible because for the low end product, the price uh, rank about 45% of uh, customer preference. And for high end performance and size segment, we place the price as high as possible for each segment because the price rank about 15% uh, of customer preference, right? So we can set that. 39.5, uh, 34.50, and 34.50, right? 34.50. So recommendation for round one, you see that from video of round one, right? But I say again, you can use this for um, suggestion in round one, and each round you can reduce the price by 50 cent. Again, each round you can reduce the price by 50 cent for all the segment to keep the price competitive. But before you do so, you need to check the career report to see the price of the most competitive competitor and set the price just lower than that by 50 cent. So um, the note here is in round one, two, three, we will have high sales but low net profit because of high investment in R&D, developed new product, and also we need to add production capacity, and we spend for promotion and sale. We get good sales but uh, still low net profit. From round four and five, we will have a good sale and good net profit, and round six, seven, eight, we have high sale and high net profit. For uh, promotion and sale in the marketing too. Uh, often we can want we want to spend two thousand as soon as possible so that we can increase the customer awareness and accessibility to a hundred percent in three rounds. But uh, my suggestion is start from one point two, one thousand two hundred, one thousand four hundred, and one thousand six hundred, and then to one thousand, and then back to one thousand four hundred. When customer awareness and accessibility reach a hundred percent, we can reduce that back to a thousand four hundred. Uh, we do not try to spend two thousand right from round one because uh, in round one we get. Um, Good sale but very low net profit. If we spend too much, we can get uh, negative net profit. It's not good because uh, positive net profit can bring higher investment in uh, round two and round three. So spend about 1,200 and 1,400 in round one is more optimal, better than 2,000. And for the first year, again, if you want to spend 2,000, right? You can spend around 2,000 and for low end. If you want safe for this season, you can spend around 1,400 and 1,500 for traditional and the other 1,200. And for high-end performance and size, between 1,000 and 1,200 is okay, right? 
Uh, for the first year, we want to spend 1,500 in traditional, okay? I say that. If you want, you can spend 1,500 for, or safer, you spend on 1,200 and maybe 1,400 for our one. The reason is very simple. Try to get good sale, but uh, some net profit. Do not spend too much right from round number one. Note, uh, we can spend here 1,400 or 1,200 or 1,400 then you increase to 1,600 in round 3 so we get good sales and also good net profit round 4 we can increase to 2,000 and we have very good sales so when we have very good sales, 100 million uh, increase a few um, increase a few uh, costs uh, spending on uh, promotion and sales will be no problem round 5, 6, 7, 8 uh, if we reach 100% of customer awareness and accessibility we can re reduce back to uh, 1,400 that's enough to maintain 100% percent of customer awareness and customer accessibility see that in the sample sample marketing screen right we really much to 1400 and still maintain a good 100% uh, of customer awareness and for the forecasting is very important for good or right forecasting because of forecasting can decide production so we can have several ways to um, calculate the demand for the next round we take the market share from career report uh, next round for each segment we check the current demand uh, from the career report and multiple by we check the market share and multiple by the next year demand and also we check the current demand from the career report and multiple by the growth rate of each segment of each segment we see the report we see the growth rate of each segment so we can multiple that by that ratio or you can multiply the market share by the next year's demand so all this can support us calculate the right uh, focus for the route we note we need to add uh, for the new added product we can uh, set the uh, demand by compare with the old product demand or just you 30 percent of the old product demand is okay right uh, or com compare with com or we can compare with competitor products demand to find estimate the uh, the demand for our new product look at this uh, we have eight products this sample of round eight uh, eight products selling very well right uh, so this round eight so all of them can sell very well but in round one two three in round two and three uh, new products sell just 30 percent and now we go to the production for production is uh, for production schedule we can uh, estimate production by at about 12 percent or 10 percent to avoid the stock out because uh, we update the product regularly and our product can sell very well also we get the good competitive price and we can expect our product can sell about 5 or 10 or 12 percent higher so we add about that to avoid the stock out and also number six for automating rating automation automation we can increase that uh, because automation can reduce cost so we increase that as far as we can for low end product we increase to 7 8 and 9 and 10 in three or four rounds maybe 6 and 8 and 10 in 3 first round and for high-end product we increase um, maybe to 6 and for performance maybe also to 6 or 7 silence are the same and for traditional we can increase that to 8 right so note that for one round 1, 2 and 3 we focus on automation of low-end and traditional and for round 4 and 5 we can increase the automation on the product as about right and tip number seven uh, workforce uh, we also always use a hundred percent and for buy and sell capacity that's very very tricky decision right we add new capacity is okay we can um, add new product capacity uh, based on our demand but we can sell if uh, you have uh, too much capacity and we can uh, buy more capacity if we are um, using more than 50 percent right so Generally, 50, 150 percent is the most uh, optimal for the second shift. Uh, for example, in uh, round one, in the video of round one, I say that we can sell the surplus capacity of traditional. Sell the surplus capacity uh, of traditional is too much. 1,800 is too much. We can sell by sell by 600, or high end 900 is too much. We can sell 300, and use that money to invest in low end and the new low end product in round one and round two. So the tip here, uh, a little bit in risk, uh, I say it again, you can sell capacity uh, and finance automation right in round one because in round one we get limited in uh, investment. And now we come to number nine, uh, human resources, right? Uh, 
we want to spend as much as possible for human capital because uh, invest much so that's long term so max, maximum for uh, maximum for recruitment and maximum for training hours but uh, we know that five 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 thousand dollars and eighty hours but uh, not here for round one two we have very low net profit so we can use three hundred three thousand and four and forty hours and four thousand and sixty hours in round one and round two so we can save some cost and get positive net profit because positive net profit is very important in early round that can affect uh, the amount of uh, investment in later rounds and in round three and in later round from round three and to later round we can use max uh, 5080 hours of journey so this is um, yeah illustration of round eight we get a lot of money so we can retire the stock and retire the long term and still keep nearly 96 million around 96 million cash in hand that's for finance right uh, we keep high as we can about 10 uh, or 20 or 30 million right from round one to avoid the uh, emergency loan so we get max uh, issue the stock and max long-term debt in early round maybe from round one to round four we need this both sources of investment in later round we can get long-term debt in round four five from round six i think we don't have to use uh, any issue any stock and long-term debt because at that time we get very good sales and round seven and eight we can even retire the stock and retire some long-term debts to reduce the interest cost and also to increase the uh, earning per share when you retire the stock right so uh, we retire the stock uh, we have good cash position earning earning per share increase earning per share and retire long-term loans when we have high cash in hand because we that can reduce the cost of interest very very small dividends per share is when we can have cash so not uh, if we cannot get the good net profit in round one two is normal because of high investment round one two through three we get good sales but uh, low net profit round four and five we have both uh, good sales and net profit round six seven and eight we have high uh, sales and net profit for tqm we use uh, a thousand for each uh, initiative for four years or we can use a thousand five hundred for two rounds and one thousand for the third round because uh, max of 4000 and uh, for some more notes we can calculate the production schedule and check the balance score cards to adjust the, to get the better leverage and 60 days of working capital if you need personal support you can send the email I can send the excel file to support and also can support if you are one down to for free this is very good game thank you good luck and success